All right. It's early morning Monday, 7 a.m. And we're gonna run some tests. I changed around my configuration a little bit. I removed the extra level. I brought down the board and then I connected the actual battery monitor this time, so it's kind of neat. I'm using the single battery configuration this time, a single 6600 milliamp um, for this test. And I reprogrammed the board, uh, the PI settings, so I get a um, higher oscillation on the uh, on the motors to see if the battery life lasts a little better and if it runs a little smoother. Uh, on the last flight, it wasn't too too bad. I was getting like a little bit of a wobble, um, and it wasn't such a breezy day, so I can't blame that. I just, I just do, no, do notice now that when I open these uh, these legs, my arms are very stretched out compared to before. Because when I reconfigure this, I raise the uh, bottom plate slightly so I can fit more things under there a little smoother. So I didn't test that till now. It is very, very tight, but it does open. So that's a good sign. I just make sure that the motors don't get disconnected when I do this. All right, let's get my control over here. My Devo. Oh, and also lastly, to test my heat sinks that I designed here for these motors. I got six set up. Um, so far, the plates at the bottoms get very, very hot. So we know that the heat is dissipating. Um, and I changed the props from the 10 and um, 10 and 4 fifths to these here, which are um, 10 and 3 eighths. It's a different type of configuration, but should work as well. That's good as well. So, uh, come on, a little pin in there. Okay, let's put on my battery alarm. Let's get you plugged in now. A little tight back here. It's a lot easier with the dual battery configuration. Because I got more room and more cables. This one's a little tight. But right now, since I just want to see how smooth this thing runs. And I want to see how this, uh, it might be completely horrible for all I know because I really changed the, uh, the motor, the PI settings around based on something I found online for the 2.51, which is what I have now here. All right, board is set. Oh, I got the wrong setup. Whoops. Of course. <clears throat> That's the problem when you use the same control for uh, multiple devices. That's for my airplane. This is my X700 Pro. Okay. Off. Okay. Now we're set. I'm gonna put in some longer cables here. All right, shows my battery voltage as can't be right. It's just 13.1. <laughs> oh, 12.1. All right, cool. Okay, and let me set my trims all to zero. All right, I'm all zeroed out. Let me go turn on. Stretch. I'm not getting my auxiliary on. I am getting it. I'm just not getting my... Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Armed up. I got my timer at nine minutes. All right, 
it'll wind up right there. Obviously we got some spinning faster than others just like before. Let's see his behavior. Alright, not too bad. If these um, settings work out pretty good, I'll give credit to the uh, YouTube that I found. Let's see. Yeah, okay, I got a bit of a pull. It could just be the battery. Alright, let me go ahead and uh, readjust that battery a little bit. Bring the weight back some. I'll do this fast. Okay, lock it up real quick. Let me shift the battery back. Okay, so we don't have too much weight to the front. Okay, rearm. Still got a lot of weight to the front. All right, I'll shift the battery much more back. I mean, it is pretty smooth, but there's our weights all over the place. I'm just trimming while I fly a little bit here. Ah, that shit is very smooth. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, let's get back here. It's very responsive with these settings. Yeah. You do got a lot of, a lot of pull to the front. Let me pull that battery completely back. All right, all right. My heat sinks, they're not that warm yet. <clears throat> I know you're armed. Relax. I'm not stopping the timer because of the land and the takeoff. The initial takeoff compensates for the uh, extra weight anyways. I mean the extra time on the floor. There we go. A little bit of a jiggle, but pretty decent. I do notice on this one that I have to use a little more throttle to stay uh, stay higher, even with the lighter battery. So, oh, it could also be the uh, the heavier um, the heavier uh, heat sinks. Each one's about 15 grams only, but you know, times six. Hey, look at about 60 grams I added to the weight there. Even though the battery is about 300, which is not a big deal, I am getting like a lot of pull towards the front. I don't know why. The battery's all the way back. But I just need some trimming. Let's see. All right. That is super quiet compared to the other ones I have. Wow, I like the blades on this one. All right, there I just trimmed it out a little bit. Seems to be behaving a little better. Okay, I'm going to shift this flow right forward, and it should continue its path. Nice and smooth, not touching the control there. Okay, now if I shift backwards, it should continue its path without me touching it. All right, that means if it did it, that means I gotta trim it more. Okay. Uh, I really like these settings. Definitely give some credit to that YouTube that I found. Really nice. I'll do a link to him. Oh man, I am very happy with that um the smoothness that it has. Come on. Uh oh. 
you doing? There you go. Felt a little weird there for a second. He is like, wow, super sensitive. Woo I just hit a tree. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, the controls are super sensitive. They're smooth and not as responsive as before, but very sensitive. So they're great for footage. So yeah, you see right there, it kind of follows a little path that I give it. I'll go forward, and it'll just, it'll just stay hovering at that speed. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I mean, I got to get used to it. It's a little different. I'm getting a slight oscillation on the motor there. Let me show you when I bring it close. Not that noticeable now, but every now and then I'll get like a little wobble wobble. When I say wobble wobble, is that the motors are either oscillating too high or too low. There it is. Yeah, so the stick is not as sensitive before. Now we just gotta see why why it's oscillating the way it is on hover where it should it. Alright, let's hold it here for a second. Overturned and I want to go back too much. There we go. Alright, there you go. Yeah, I see a slight wobble. That's the motors either oscillating too high or too slow. Yeah, he is, he's not, he's smoother, but the stick response a little slower. I kind of have to like glide him to where I want to go. He doesn't like straighten himself out too fast. Uh, car's coming, let me move out of the way. Right, we're getting a red blinking light. That means we're probably like a 10.8 or something like that. About eight minutes. Well, almost nine minutes. Even with the stop and goes and the hard drifting we're doing. Come on. There you go. It'll beep soon. Okay. That's my timer for nine minutes. Now I did stop a couple of times. But I did accelerate hard after that, so it compensated for the stop. So I did the full nine minutes on a single battery. That's not bad. And it hasn't beeped yet, so that's a kind of a good sign. Okay, now I got two blinking lights. They should be beeping soon. So I got two cells already that are kind of warning me. I'll do my last trims before I land. Now it's important with these things that once you're happy with the flight time and everything else, don't keep changing around the battery configuration. I mean, if you're gonna go with dual battery, 
stay with dual battery. If you're going to go single, stay with single. Every time you change around the batteries, you have to um, readjust and retrim these because the weight's not going to be the same. All right, we got three. Well, I guess the beeper's not working, but at least the flash is working. All right. All right. We actually went 10 minutes, 30 seconds. For a single battery? Awesome. All right, so let's see. Oh. Wow, the heat sinks worked. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's hot, but it's not like before. It was like I couldn't even keep my hands on the heat. So they are transferring some heat to them, and they are cooling off pretty good. So the modes the are running cooler. They are hot, not like before, but they are hot. Mm. I wish the heat sinks were a little hotter, but you know what? They are warm. Yeah, this one's hot. <laughs> Good. All right, so the heat's transferring over to the heat sinks, which is great. All right, we're locked up again. We're back on safe. And um, that's not bad. We got a good flight out of here. Um, like I said, one minute, 29 seconds over the nine minutes that we set. That means 10 minutes, 30 seconds. And with the stops and everything else, the battery got hot, so I definitely ran it to, I ran it to the end. <laughs> I ran it to the three lights down. Let me actually disconnect the battery and see where we at? Where we're at? On here? Let's see how low did we go? Ten point nine. Yeah, not bad. I mean, we ran it to the point. I mean, ten point seven is the at the flight maximum, and that's it. You kind of want to stop there. It's already at the point of landing. So we ran the battery all the way down to 10.9 uh, remaining. So usually make someone use a different uh, beeper. This one didn't even beep. This is just the lights that came on. So it's not good. It should have at least started to give me some kind of uh, some kind of audible warning that it didn't. So huh, I'm happy. It uh, actually flew good. Um, the slight oscillation I still have to adjust. So definitely those motor settings are a lot better. Um, so I'm going to link that YouTube that I found with those settings. So if anybody else has a, an X700 and are having the uh, not such a smooth flight and battery not lasting because the motors are struggling, um, that setting was pretty neat. All right, again, this was the ATG 700, a uh, collapsible frame. I have, um, I put on, I think these are 800 kV motors. I got six set up. I have the carbon fiber 10 by 3.8, which actually run better here, which I like. I'm running a uh, 3 point, sorry, 11.1 .1 volt 6600 milliamp battery. I normally run dual 5200s on this one because it can handle the weight and this is a uh, KK2 um, 1.5 um, from Kahabi King very simple board no GPS no satellite um, no compass yeah, I mean everything is just <laughs> that's it it's a board and with just having that board it's actually pretty smooth uh, these are heat sinks that I added they're actually pretty warm now so the, the heat from the uh, the motor is actually shifting down very well, which I like. If these would have been extremely cold, then that just means that they're not working. So there's no heat going down to them. So the setup is good. I mean, it's, it's better having four points on here or a lot more connectors. Um, in this case, I have two screws in the bottom of the motor bringing the heat down to the plate and then that plate transferring over to the, uh, the heat sinks and work well. I'm happy.